Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I am your bug-loving bud, Caldwell Tanner. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. <laughs> I'm Jacob. <laughs> Caldwell's alone on the bug-loving. <laughs> Got three bug haters. <laughs> I would love it if that was just unrelated to this episode yeah. premise. <laughs> Cole just, just like <laughs> Cole's just holding a, a whole handful of ants. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're doing Dragon Ball characters. I don't know why I said that. Uh, no, we're actually doing characters from Hollow Knight, specifically boss characters. I am going to be giving everyone some names of bosses from this beautiful little indie platformer, uh, and they're going to have to do their best to draw them from memory and or from experience. Uh, we have a range of people who have played the game to completion, like myself, uh, and some scrubs who have not accomplished that fact yet. And then Jacob, who hasn't played it at all, I don't think. I'm a little bitty baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob is filling the role of Julia for the episode. Whenever Julia and I talk about Hollow Knight in the office, Jacob just gets this faraway look on his face. <laughs> I literally went to Nathan's office early so that I could gush about the stuff that I accomplished in Hollow Knight last night uh, without Jacob judging me. It feels good. I'm, I'm to... not judging you. I'm judging myself. <laughs> <laughs> Because I could be where you are. Play I could this be, good I game. I could be where the people are, and I'm not. It feels good to do the hard stuff in the game. I want to do something hard, which is draw a Hollow Knight boss from memory. Nathan, I'm going to give you one. Are you ready? Yes. Your Hollow Knight boss is... Gruz, mother. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I love a Gruz, mother. Should I say it longer? Yes, please. Gruz, mother. Is that just the big the big nose fly? Wow, yeah. Is that just the one that's like the elephant fly? It is. Wow, Nathan, great memory. You've really subverted me. You Oh no, you've defeated me, the name master. Well, now I need to see if I remember what that looks like. It looks like shy guy with an elephant nose, right? I know you do love an elephant, uh, and I know you love shy little guys, so I thought that this would be perfect for you. There he comes. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> and it just it just sort of smushes into you. It does the fun the fun attack where it just smashes its whole body against the ceiling and floor. There's a lot of characters in this game that do kind of seem apologetic about their actions, and this is definitely one of those where it's just like, oh, sorry. Er, excuse me. I'm, <laughs> er, just, er, just flying here. I'm all filled <laughs> with gruzz. <laughs> Would you like some of my gruzz? <laughs> so now I need to remember what else what else is even going on with this guy. Well usually they have little little wingies. The little wingies, right? They're just sort of like eh. <laughs> yes. Now remember this is the mother, Nathan. Okay. We need some mommy elements, yeah. So she's like <laughs> get some umami in there. <laughs> <laughs> like when I drew Mama Mold, I gave her uh tray of hot pockets so i feel like i can't i can't do that again maybe gruz mother has a gruz udder <laughs> i don't that's where the gruz comes i from. don't like that do they have antennas no no antennas it's a very simple design that we're starting with here first these are all very simple designs so like i'm honestly open to you adding in as much flair as you want all right we're gonna okay so she's a mommy and and yet you do reject the gruz udder <laughs> I don't want to draw a Gruz utter. <laughs> what do you got against Gruz? Maybe she's a mommy blogger. <laughs> she's writing some recipes. She's writing. Yeah, she's on her. Uh, she's on her little laptop. Did you secrete too much Gruz this season? <laughs> How much Gruz is too much Gruz? Top five dishes you can make with Gruz. <laughs> Aw, mom, Gruz again. Here's a tip. Slam your body against the ceiling and floor as hard as you can. <laughs> Not sure what to do with your spare time. Slam your body into the floor. <laughs> Maybe you'll kill someone. <laughs> uh, did you have a long day trying to defeat the vessel? <laughs> then kick back with these easy single one bowl gruz recipes. Today, I ran into a boy who was just too tiny. Who isn't feeding this boy enough gruz? <laughs> Time to fix. Oh, that's why the flies are slamming into you is because they're trying to give you their gruz. They're trying to make you big and strong. They want you to grow big and strong so you can be a gruz cousin with them. <laughs> I feel like the gruz, the face is even bigger than the body. I 
approve of that note, and I'm going oh to say God. yes. Oh my God. Mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. I guess if this is what you want to do. I'm trying to just like remember this stupid, this stupid elephant bug. <laughs> Nathan always <laughs> wanting to like remember what things are actually like. I'm just yeah, trying really. to. I hate it. Nathan, I remember what one character looks like in Hollow Knight, and it's the main character. <laughs> and, and only I remember, barely. And barely. <laughs> and then I only remember the noises that the flippin' Dung Defender makes. <laughs> well, the noises in this game are so good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Can I give you one note, Nathan? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to give you two words that will comprise one note, and they are sloven and lazy. I guess those are kind of the same word, but those are your words. What is that? What am I supposed to do with that? Just make it a little more sloven and droopy, I would say. Just droop it? Droop it, if you would. Well, maybe this Gruz mother keeps it tight, you know? She, like, makes it to the gym. <laughs> she's she's a busy, you know, stay-at-home Gruz mother, but she manages to find time for herself, too. That is true. You could also add some yoga pants to her thorax if you wanted. Oh, okay, so she's using her, uh, her Gruz hole to type. Is that what's going on here? I was just drooping it. I was just drooping it down. Great, yeah, if you wouldn't mind. Is, does the butt droop? Nathan, it, it droops all the way down. They do love an arched <laughs> back in this game. There's a droop and a hunch. Okay. So... Oh, you know what I did just remember? The one enemy that I really love the look of are those dudes that are in the City of Tears, the uh, the little dandies. The flying ones? No, they're like the the really rich oh, looking. Oh yeah! Like they look like they were citizens of the city, and now they're just kind of like jumping at you. Mm hmm. But they all suck. Yeah, they all suck. <laughs> they have like little fancy hairdos, and like they look like they're wearing little suits. And they one guy will come at you once, and then if you slap him, he tries to run away from you. <laughs> Their whole deal is that they're rich and that they suck. Giving her a little droopy butt. A little droopy touche. She's wearing yoga pants. <laughs> Great. I like that note. <laughs> Maybe she's doing some uh, Pilates while she works, multitasking. You know, when you're when you're a grass mother with a huge brood to feed, you really have to. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I don't know what else to do here. They do love some good some good smoke in this game. Does this grass mother do any sort of tooting or spewing? Oh yeah, gases? just some of that orange, some of that orange toots. I think there's always time for goop. A little droop, a little goop. I think we're going to be good to go. Let's get that that orange. Maybe that's what the gruz is. <laughs> gruz is we gas. We finally got that gruz. <laughs> Listen, only the gruz mother knows what gruz is, and she's not giving away that secret. <laughs> secret recipe. <laughs> secret recipe for gruz. Only if you're subscribed to her Patreon <laughs> will you get the secret gruz recipe. <laughs> If you follow, you got to follow uh, Gruzwire, her blog, <laughs> to find more. All I can tell you about Gruz is that it's surprisingly crunchy. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> no, that's why it's so. That's why it's so good for you. It's very similar to an ancient grain. Nathan, this looks like she got drunk on Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of yeah. the whole game's aesthetic in a way. Let's give her a bottle of uh, Cheeto wine. Oh. <laughs> That's oh, not a phrase God. I wanted to hear. Well, you brought it up. You gave me the idea, dummy. I just meant she ate so many that she got drunk. I can't believe you almost forgot her bottle of Cheeto wine. Almost. That's, that's it. The second form of this boss is that they pull out their bottle of Cheeto wine, and they get real tipsy, uh, and they start trying to get you to join the PTA. Yeah. And it's like a, it's a whole thing. That special brand of mom tipsy that <laughs> yeah. only moms can get. It's true where they just like want to they want to hear about how you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've taken up enough time. Let me look up the Gruz mother. The time for the gruzzing has commenced. Oh, that's the Gruz mother. Mhm. Mm you were pretty dead on, although you gave it arms, which I like. I do think that maybe the arms are just underneath. Yeah. She has them tucked away. Even droopier elephant nose. Mm -hmm. And oh, I forgot that little yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I tried to warn you about the droop, bud. You wouldn't listen. You just gave it that beautiful touche, which I'm not opposed to. Uh, who's next? Me. Julie, I got a good one for you. It's not going to be a lot to go on. It's very simple, but I think it's going to treat you great. It's Nosk. Nosk? Nosk. Nosk. Nathan, do you know Nosk? Oh, do I know Nosk? Can we get a spelling? N-O-S-K. N-O-S-K. Right, that's about how Nosk. I would have guessed. Nosk. Nosk. 
Can you give me a word to go on? Yes. Your character design, mm-hmm. the, the Hollow Knight, the, not the Hollow Knight, but your your main character guy, uh-huh. it's incorporated into the design of Nosk. Yeah. In a way you might not expect. It's coming right out of his grez utter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm forever going to regret not drawing a grez utter. Yeah, and you should be. We're going to really razz you about it for the rest of the show. I will say... This one does have a big, gruzzy core, but also it's found in Deep Nest, so use that to guide you in your character designing. Julia hasn't even gotten to Deep Nest. I haven't gotten to Deep Nest. I don't know what that is. Julia, you're going to love Deep Nest. (laughs) Imagine all the the things you hate about this game. They put them all into one place. Is he the teleporting bastard part two? No. I hate that wizard asshole. No. The wizard asshole is, is, is a tea cakewalk. So it's it's a cakewalk, but specifically they also give you tea because it's so nice and pleasant. <laughs> Deep nest is like walking into a cobweb, but in video game form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can never quite get it off of you. And you're like, is there a spider inside me now? <laughs> skittery, I think would maybe yeah, be a word. Very, Nosk. very skittery. Mm-hmm. The horns were good though. A skittery asshole. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, a skittery asshole. A real skittery piece of shit. Yeah. A real lanky, skittery, garbage fuckhead, I think <laughs> might be the way to describe this character specifically. I feel like they were done designing the game, and then they were like, well, we have all of this, this bullshit <laughs> that we figured everyone would hate. Should we just put it all in one area? And they were like, oh yeah, yeah, that's that's good. It's either going in the garbage or in this one area on the map. Which one do you prefer? (laughs) (laughs) Just some assholes that pop up out of the ground that you're standing on, no matter where you go, and and that happens forever? Yeah, 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 put those in there. Oh, no, this is, yeah. This is interesting. This is right on the money. Yeah, Julia. Nathan gave me a clue of incorporated in an interesting way. So well, he said it was a way you wouldn't expect. A way so you I, wouldn't I expect. I think that's impossible to guess because you can't. <laughs> if you expected it, then it it's already not a thing you wouldn't have expected. I didn't expect you to get so close, but I'm excited to see what you do with the rest of it because this is just one part. You can't really get a beat on him. Okay. Is my experience. <laughs> Skittery and then also jumpy. Mm-hmm. He does some jumpy, drippy. He does do some drips, right? Yeah, I mean, he's again, all of these characters have gruzz at their core, and they're just <laughs> leaking gruzz constantly. Their their mother made sure they, they took all their gruzz with them when they went to <laughs> school, when they went to fucking nightmare school. <laughs> they all took their Flintstones gruzz tablet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one giant leaky pill, and you have to take it every day, or mother will be disappointed. Okay, I like this big salami bug. <laughs> he is a big salami, huh? For anyone who's who's signed up for Dropout, you know Julia loves drawing bugs that are also hot dog shaped. Oh, I yeah. do love some hot dog shaped bugs. Distinct hot dog bug vibes from this critter. If you haven't signed up for Dropout and you want to see Julia draw some hot dog shaped bugs, go sign up. Yeah. Do it. I would say it is worth the price of admission alone. Just the hot dog bug. A bit.ly slash cartoon hell is the, is the way to do that. That'll take you right to the subscription page. That's enough plug-in. Now back to the bug-in. Yeah. Ooh, here he comes. Can I tell you guys about an absolute nightmare situation that happened recently that Julie is presently reminding me of by drawing this? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm recalling. Um, so over the weekend, me and Julia were hanging out. Nice. We nice. were at my apartment. And suddenly Julia like looks over to the area where my bed is and she's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and I look over, and on the wall above my bed is the biggest fucking house centipede I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Oh, no. It was legitimately mustache-sized. Yeah, it was huge. <laughs> I saw it from across. <laughs> I saw it from across the room. If you put what it on your upper lip. Measurement? If you put it on your upper lip, people would be like, that's a nice mustache. <laughs> This is, you're playing a Lucas Arts adventure game, and you need a quick disguise, but all you have is this furry centipede. Is this giant awful centipede? So, like, I turn and I look at it, and I'm like, "Oh God!" And so I'm like, "Okay, well, I gotta kill it." And like, as I stand up to like go try to get it, it just like suddenly drops from the wall and lands directly on my pillow, oh. and then skitters away like into the folds of my bed. Oh. oh. 
I thank thank <laughs> God I did find it. I did find it and kill it. it but was, it for was... a while I was like, um, this is it. Like I'm never sleeping. Yeah, you just don't again. You just need a new bed. I need a new point. bed and a new apartment and a new house. And a new the centipede started taunting you. It put on a little nightcap and blew out a candle. It was like, ooh. <laughs> I'm all snuggled up. <laughs> it, it drank an entire glass of milk. <laughs> Julia, can I offer one more piece of character designing advice? Yes, please. Protrusions. <laughs> Protrusions? Just, just some, some big shit, spiky bits. Some shit coming out of it. Yeah, just like, uh-oh, looks painful. Sh- should that be there? Looks like you you wouldn't want to touch. I mean, you already wouldn't want to touch. The, oh, very good. Oh, this is this is a fun. Julia, this isn't Nosk, but this is like, this is definitely Nosk adjacent. Yeah, this is in the house style for sure. Like, this is a DLC character, no question. This is like you get it down to half HP, which you don't know. There's no like boss HP bar in this game. Yeah, like, which is great. You, you you can tell you're getting close because it starts doing some some new bullshit. <laughs> it's like, oh, now you're doing some new shit. Cool. Oh, you like that skittering? Well, here's some new skittering. Yeah. I just came up with this shit. <laughs> you're gonna love this. Puts on a top hat. Yeah. That's an entry in the Grez Mother's blog. Yeah. <laughs> Try some new shit. Try some new bullshit. Have you been gotten down to about half health? <laughs> By here's some a tip. Do like you... some little guy with a nail. <laughs> Try some new shit. My second eldest n- nussel was out trying to defeat that accursed vessel, and wouldn't you know it, that vessel got him down to half HP. And I said, Nussel, just remember what your father said, and that's <laughs> don't show them your weak point and alter your attack pattern. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, just use the same attack pattern, but do speed it up a little bit so that the <laughs> rhythm is thrown off. Or maybe do like one or two more before you take a break in between attacks. That's another <laughs> good move. Do an attack that looks like you're about to take a break, but then you don't. <laughs> my uh, my youngest, Grunto, loves <laughs> to take a short rest in between attacks just to give the vessel an opportunity to really wail on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Those are the spikes that I craved. This is like a chainsaw bug. Yeah, yeah like some sort of segmented stegosaurus. Oh, boy. Julia, you've drawn... You've just sort of drawn an amalgamation of deep nest. Oh, nice. Yep. Spikies? <laughs> spikies Spike, and drippies? Spikies, drippies, teeth. Could I get like one more false mouth in there? And I these think that long, I'll be satisfied. Just, one more just false these mouth. long assholes. <laughs> You've really yeah, like you haven't made it to deep nest yet, but like this is this is it. Yeah, this is what awaits you. This does feel like one of those uh postcard memes where it's like, welcome to deep nest. We got long fuckers, spikes, yikes. It's just, <laughs> welcome to Deep Nest. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and Mr. Skitters. <laughs> oh, I like that. Just a little <laughs> mouth saddle. <laughs> Don't ride this. Don't ride this horsey. We're going to chop off your asshole? entire groin. <laughs> You just you gotta just hit him right in the face. Just right in the face. That's the only option you got. Mm-hmm. I think that it's about time. Yeah. All right. Let's look him up. Oh. oh. Yeah. You got the face totally right. Oh. I know. That's what I impressed about. That's what impressed me most. Oh. He looks like a Kingdom Hearts ass shit. He does look like. <laughs> he Kingdom does Hearts. look like some nobody bullshit. I like what you did. Yeah, I was gonna do a little bulbous body because I was going with spider. But I kind of like the centipede direction Man, as well. You're, you're very right that I just don't I don't want to touch it in any place. <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm, mm-mm. yeah. It either looks like it's going to be spiky or sticky or both. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> he is also filled with gruzz, though, to be fair. Yeah. Look at that belly. He's look got at, a gruzz belly. Look at He's that. got a gruzz belly. He kind of has a gruzz udder, yeah. Yeah. It's like you haven't seen him since college, and oh, he kind of got a gruzz belly. <laughs> <laughs> Let himself go a little bit. All right, I'm done here. Jacob, it's your turn. Yas. Jacob, are you ready to trust the Gruz? I've been born ready. <laughs> I've been born ready. Let's go. Your character is none other than Gorb. Oh, Gorb. Gorb. Oh, I defeated Gorb. Gorb last night. Gorb I know. The, the dream warriors of the game because it's not enough that there are just a bunch of actual 
motherfuckers you have to fight. There there are just just dreams, dreams made real. I was telling Nathan uh, earlier today that I defeated Gorb with the uh, the stink bug thing that just makes you super smelly, and it is great to think that uh, I defeated a dream. I was so smelly that a dream got hurt by it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Defender's Crest, I love it. I'm just yeah, like, it's so many very great silly. Little... My favorite is when like I've gotten an enemy down to almost dead, and then it comes at me with like a fast attack, but then gets killed by the stink before it can get to me. Jacob, this is a Boston cream donut, <laughs> <laughs> or or one of those little um, red bean paste buns. Ooh, yeah, yeah, Ooh. totally. Can you just draw that instead? Yeah, this looks pretty tasty. It does look pretty tasty. Jacob, you draw you draw real tasty looking uh, spheroids. Seriously, yeah. The more oblate, the better. <laughs> well, kind of what I'm thinking here is Gorb sounds like orb, so I think it's like it's like a bug and also an orb. Do you want yeah. one piece of advice slash wisdom? Uh, yeah, give me one piece, and I'll decide whether or not I'll include it. <laughs> Brain bug. Brain bug. Ooh, that is a good descriptor. Okay, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorb is actually the the character design isn't that unique, but it's just such a good name, and the kind of description when you meet Gorb for the first time is so good that I had to include it. You gotta you gotta get a Gorb in there. But I do want <laughs> you gotta get a Gorb. What are you doing going around your life without a Gorb? <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want to see kind of what how you approach the name Gorb. Yeah, I'm just kind of I'm I'm Gorbing it my all. I think you gotta just freestyle this Gorb. <laughs> That's absolutely what I'm going to do. This will be, you know, not like any Gorb you've ever seen. This feels like a clickbait article where it's like, we asked 100 artists to draw what they think Gorb is. <laughs> <laughs> the results will terrify you to no Aww. end. We, a little smile. We asked 20 different religious leaders to tell us <laughs> their idea of what is Gorb. <laughs> Look at this friendly friend. I'm just a yeah. dream. I'm a dream. <laughs> Dream. Why you want to fight me? I'm just a dream. I'm fine. I want him to have a position that kind of makes him seem like you came in and he's like, have a seat. <laughs> tell, tell me what's going on. Hey, man, you want to talk about it? Talk to Gorb. Is Gorb your therapist? <laughs> talk talk to Gorb. Gorb, listen. Gorb will listen. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm already in a dream, oh, so time works different. You're, you're attacking Gorb. I don't. I don't oh, see no. why. If, oh, you've if got that's a, what you need to do to feel better, Gorb will take it. You've got a special nail that, that can reach into dreams and attack <laughs> dreamers. And it, it can attack Gorb. Why does he have hands? You know, he's got hands, he's got feet. He's Gorb. No, Jacob, Bugs that's not the style. Hands. They all have little pointies. Bugs what, don't what do you have mean? hands. No, I like this. <laughs> he's got hands, he's got feet, he's Gorb. I feel like Gorb <laughs> could be... Like, Jacob, if you ever started an art movement, you could call it Gorb. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're a Gorbist? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can definitely see the Gorb influence on this one. Postmodern Gorb. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I view all art either pre-Gorb or post-Gorb. <laughs> I specialize in Gorb. This is a pre-war neo-Gorb apartment. <laughs> 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 it's got beautiful crown molding and also is full of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there comes that brain. Oh, is it translucent? Yeah, I think he's translucent and the brain kind of floats in this gelatinous orb. His that's, gelatinous gorb. That's that's where you get all the good dreams coming in. Gorb. The uh, the orb is made of gruz. <laughs> it's got to be. Of course. And inside of it is a brain. I'm glad that Hollow Knight has had the success it has, but I wish that it was like, a triple A game so that I could go to a 7 Eleven and get a Gruz slushy. <laughs> gamer Gruz. <laughs> Gorb your Gamer Gruz today. <laughs> the orange stuff is not actually called Gruz. We should, no, we should mention no, no, before no. Like, the comments fill up with people yeah. being like, it's the infection. <laughs> we know, yeah, it's the plague that's uh, yeah. ruining all of Hallow Nest. It's but... not called Gruz. <laughs> It's called Gruz, I think. <laughs> it's called Gruz, dude. <laughs> it's definitely called Gruz. I mean, I don't. I asked Team Cherry. My uncle is Team Cherry, and <laughs> I asked them, and they said, "Oh yeah, it's for sure Gruz." <laughs> Congratulations, you got the deep lore. You solved it. <laughs> he's got a watch. Yeah, he's got a watch on. Well, he has like more appointments. 
oh no, does he like nervously check it to make sure? And then that kind of throws you off your game. Well, yeah, cause... if you start like running a little bit over time, he kind of uh, starts looking at it, tapping it a little bit. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Something new. Something new back here. Yes. I had to give yes, it to him. Yes, Jacob. Oh, there's that Gruz Utter. I had to give it to him. Chekhov's Gruz Utter, a, a hallmark <laughs> of uh, of Gorbism. <laughs> this is where Gorb expels his excess Gruz. <laughs> he gets too much. You know when you get too much Gruz on the brain. Uh, it's the Gruzzing hour. Hold on. <laughs> I got to I gotta release my Gruz. Well, the, you want the some Gruz? <laughs> swirling symbols on my watch have uh, formed the shape that lets me know it's Time to expel that gruz. <laughs> Come get your gruz. Come and get your gruz. <laughs> you know, I, I know that you're my patient and I'm your therapist, but would you like some gruz wine? Would you like some sweet, sweet Cheeto wine? <laughs> oh, God. So he like squirts it out oh, aggressively and then it, it rains down in sort of a fine gruz mist. Yeah, mm -hmm. It doesn't do damage. It just... <laughs> No, it's it's very pleasant. Yeah, it's like when you go to Six Flags and they have the cool down area. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> it's the plague, but don't think about it too much. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it will infect your body and mind. Huff my gruz, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Huff my gruz is the slogan of the century. <laughs> Everyone's going to be saying it. Yeah, they are. If Hollow Knight had come out in the 90s, that would have been the slogan. <laughs> I guess. Just a rude little vessel. <laughs> Huff my gruz. Huff my gruz, bud. <laughs> but when Gorb says it, he means it in like the kindest way possible. Absolutely. You've drawn a much kinder Gorb than the one that's in the I game. love a kind Gorb. <laughs> <laughs> I adore kind Gorb. I adore gorb. a kind Gorb, and I love to huff that gruz. <laughs> I think I'm done. This is Gorb. Uh, I wish you weren't. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> Do you want to see what uh, Gorb actually looks like? Yes. Gorb. Oh, what? Look at him. He's a grub. This guy sucks. <laughs> He's supposed to just look like a little grubby boy. This guy sucks shit and I hate him. <laughs> yeah, he's stupid. You've drawn a superior Gorb. I love that his quote is, I am Gorb. It shouldn't be, because this ain't my Gorb. <laughs> Hashtag not my Gorb. Not my Gorb. <laughs> my Gorb wants me to huff that grass and he encourages me to do so. <laughs> Jacob, you're gonna be so disappointed when you play the game. And this and this wonderful fellow isn't in there. Uh, hopefully, you know Team Cherry will watch this app, and then in Hollow Knight Two, they'll add the real Gorb with, along with an apology. When you started drawing this guy, just the two circles, that is almost the design. It's not a boss, I don't think. It's just a character you meet. That's just like mm -hmm. big circle with a little circle inside of it. Yeah, and then that big beautiful utter crown yeah. <laughs> yeah, raining the, the, overall. The utter crown is off screen. You don't get up that high to see it, but it's there. <laughs> but it's there. You can feel it. It's there, and you know it in your heart, uh, and now your blood pumps gruz, and you're one of us. Finally. Well, y'all did a great job of uh, just really creating some new fun little critters to, to play around with in uh, Hollow Knight 2. Uh, Revenge of the Gruz. And I'm excited to see it and play it, but thank you all so much for delighting me with these with these little guys. Thank oh, you for, for yeah. hosting us. This was this was so much fun. We don't get you on as many episodes as we used to, and when we do, we, we love to not let you draw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being punished. <laughs> Help me. But uh, if you want to see Caldwell draw a lot, you should sign up for Dropout. Ooh. We've got hot dog bugs on there. We've got Caldwell drawing. We're in hell. I believe the one that just aired was uh, Julia taking our cute character designs and making them into a terrible oh, monster. Oh yeah, there, there's a preview of that on, on Drawfee at the time of uh, recording this. I'm sure there will be more previews up by the time this comes out. Um, Yeah, if, if those entice you, give Dropout a try. It's the best way to support us directly. And you get a bunch of, uh, of extra content. You get stuff from us, you get stuff from the people uh, at College Humor and Dorkly. It's a good time. We'd appreciate it if you signed up. And I'm gonna level with you. We need money for Gruz. <laughs> 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 we are gruz broke right we're, now. We're gruz hungry. Please help us. Please help us. It's highly addictive. We're sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs>